Today's famous scientist is Isaac Newton, arguably the most influential scientist of all time. You may recall that I mentioned him earlier in the show along with Galileo and Einstein. Now what you may know about Newton is that his inspiration for his insights of gravity involve a story about an apple falling from a tree, and in many renditions hitting him on the head, thus provoking this world-altering idea that gravity not only works on objects that are close together, but also objects that are very, very far apart. You may also know his three laws of motion, and the fact that he's credited with inventing calculus, which in the world of math and science is equally monumental. But here are some things you may not know about Newton. Newton's scientific contributions did not stop the laws of gravity, motion, or even calculus. In fact, Newton contributed all the major sciences in various ways. One such contribution was his investigation into the behaviors of light. He was one of the first scientists to assert that as light moves through one substance to another, it changes speeds in very small amounts, thus causing it to bend. This is called refraction and can be easily seen when light strikes and passes through a prism. No wonder so many science geeks love the dark side of the moon. Newton, Pink Floyd thanks you. Newton was tremendously involved outside of science as well. He held a seat in British Parliament, was knighted, and attempted to turn lead into gold, a process known as alchemy. Unfortunately, Newton was not able to make gold out of anything he wanted. And if Newton couldn't do it, neither can you, M. Night Shyamalan. But perhaps the most entertaining story about Newton is that for several years he was a high-ranking official, and later the master of the British Royal Mint. Uh, not that mint. I mean the treasury. That's what I'm talking about. He was tasked with finding, arresting, and convicting counterfeiters. Newton was like Serpico, James Bond, and Clarence Darrow all rolled into one. During his time, he racked up 28 counterfeiters, which is a pretty impressive number. Take that, evildoers. Newton's accomplishments are numerous, but what's most amazing is that he didn't become truly famous in terms of the broad population until after his death. Only then did others outside of the scientific arenas really recognize his tremendous body of work, both in and out of science. In fact, it would take you quite a while to write down all of his accomplishments. But don't worry, you've got time. Newton didn't predict the end of the world till 2060.